helps me. Yep. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm going to briefly introduce my research, which is uh, related to probability upscaling from poor skill to few skill using a deep learning approach called conditional GAN. So relative probability is a important physical parameters that can control, you know, the pseudo injection volume or predict the plum migration during the process of geologic pseudo sequestrations. And there are two ways to predict the relative probability. The first is through performing laboratory measurement, which is obviously time consuming and expensive. The second is we can perform numerical simulations on top of the CT scan of a specific rock depth um, so that we can get the product model or we can uh, perform some other good uh, multi phase flow simulation algorithm to get the relative probability function at the certain rock depth. Uh, there are several limitations for our workflow. Obviously, the both laboratory measurement and um, numerical simulations requires availability of core plugs that have been drilled from wells, um, which is only the limited representation of subsurface information. And at the same time, we take the measured relative probability functions uh, as a constant uh, functions for the whole field scale. Uh, whereas we presume heterogeneous distribution of geologic variable at few scale, like porosity and permeability distribution. Um, there, so there exists an inconsistency in the workflow. Therefore, this research aims to develop a tool which can infer an upscale related permeability function at few scale through integrating both pro scale simulation result and few scale static geologic properties, like porosity, permeability, or process distributions so that it can add an extra heterogeneity to fan transport model uh, besides reservoir causation model, so that it can extrapolate sparse and expensive data from large volume of data at few scale. So the method that we use is called the conditional deep convolutional generative adversarial networks. So basically it can take the geologic variables at input to the generator GAN, and then it can reconstruct cross media conditioning to these geologic variables. So with the, with the reconstruct cross media, we can perform flow simulations on top of the reconstruct cross media to get the transport variables like relative permeability or phase connectivity. So that we can build the bridge between the static geologic properties like porosity, permeability, with the dynamic transport variables like relative probability, physical negativity, or even capillary pressure. So a briefly introduce intro to the GAN. So the GAN is consisted by two deep convolutional neural networks, generator and discriminators. So they are competing with each other to minimize the cross entropy loss function here. Um, so we can see that uh, the gener so the final objective of the GAN is to, uh, to take the generator out and so that the generated image can fold the discriminator. That's our objective. However, such process is uncontrollable. That's why we take the advantage of variant of GAN called conditional DC GAN to constrain our generation process with physical vector Y so that the generation process can be fully conditioned to physics instead of pure random. Uh, so we rewrite the cross, I uh, mean, the cross entropy loss function with a conditional y, conditional vector y. And the result indicates that the distribution of reconstructed hydrologic properties has converged uh, with the distribution of these fractions and training images. And um, the conditional DC GAN, more interesting, it has ability to interpolate the structure of cross media given an unseen input distribution of hydrologic properties and training images. Like the picture indicated here, we can see when we perturb the input of processes, the output, the output reconstruct process is also changing. And when we perturb the process input to generator, the output macro CT image is also changing. We can see the void space is increasing at the process increase, which is physical reasonable, right? So for conclusion, this study indicates that the physical insisted data driven GAN can reconstruct post media while combining both poor scale and few scale features, right? And this study 
introduced a new workflow to successfully predict relative permeability given only static geologic features such as porosity. And also this study introduced more accurate characterizations of phase flowing behaviors in reservoir simulation to support future reservoir simulation development. Um, that's it. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.